Hi everyone, it's Alan here from Fishing Mad. Now in this video, I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own DIY gummy shark rigs, which is a great low cost option that's really easy to learn and built super strong to withstand the power of a big gummy shark. Now do make sure you watch all the way through as I share a few power tips at the end that I think you'll find very helpful. DIY gummy shark rigs, let's get started right now. Now let me run you through the list of materials that you're going to need to create this gummy shark rig. Now for starters you will need one meter length of fluorocarbon leader, anything between 60 pound and 100 pound. I've got some black magic 80 pound there. You will also need two meters worth of shock leader. Again anything between 60 pound and 100 pound. I've got some 70 pound sun line there which has a really nice thin diameter. Now in my experience, you could use the one line to act as the fluorocarbon leader and the shock leader, so don't overthink it. Whichever way you go will work perfectly fine. You'll also need about 30 centimeters of leader of a really small breaking strand, so I've just got 20 pound there, and that's gonna be attached between the easy rig and the sinker, which I'll run you through later. You will need one really strong hook. Um, I usually jump between either two options. I've got a Gamagatsu size seven circle octopus hook. They work really well. And in today's video, I'll be using a Gamagatsu size eight inline circle hook. They also work really, really well. You will need one easy rig slider, which I have there. You will need one barrel swivel with at least a hundred pound braking strain. You will need one Lumo bead, which we're gonna use just to protect the rod tip. Um, this is completely optional, I like using them. This is a Lumo sleeve, which I use, which works as a bit of an attractant, but also to protect the knot above the hook. So I'll run you through that. You will also need some bomb sinkers. Now these are great because they clip in and out of those easy rig sliders really easily. So have obviously a range of different weights depending on the depth and the current that you're fishing. And to finish off, just a decent pair of scissors and let's put this rig together. Grab your fluorocarbon leader and we wanna cut a length that's about one meter long. So for me, that's a full arm span like that. So grab your scissors and just cut that away. Okay, so we can move that out of the way. Now what you wanna do is grab our size eight gamakatsu inline circle hook. We're gonna thread that line through the eye and then what we're gonna do is a uni knot with seven wraps. So what I find is, once you start working with line that's 80 pound and heavier, doing any more than seven wraps gets a little bit tricky. So we're just gonna to stick to seven, create a V shape like that, turn that into a circle, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this tag and through that circle seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, just lubricate the line, and then just tighten, okay? And that's gonna cinch into place really, really nicely. So we just grab that, and give that a nice pull, make sure that's really nice and tight, and you can see that knot there is perfect. So all we gotta do now is just trim that tag away just leave a tiny bit because uh, you don't need to go too close to the end there. So that looks great. That is a really nice knot there. So this part that I do now is completely optional. So I grab a Lumo sleeve, which is one of these. Now the idea about these is they add a little bit of attractant, but they also sit on top of that knot to keep that knot nice and protected. So all you do is from the opposite end of that leader is thread that line through, okay? Have it come all the way down, and then that just sits over the top of that knot like that, okay? Which I think looks really, really cool. And basically all we do to finish off this bottom section is to grab our 100 pound breaking strain barrel swivel, and again, we're gonna do a uni knot with seven wraps. Feed that through, create a V shape like that, turn that outer one into a circle, okay? And again, all we're gonna do is we're gonna feed this tag in through the circle seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six, and seven. Again, just lubricate and tighten. And that, again, is gonna be nice and strong, cinch into place perfectly, cut that tag, okay. And that is step one completed. So you've got your barrel swivel, you've got one meter there of 80 pound fluorocarbon leader, to a Lumo sleeve and a size eight inline hook. So now we're gonna create our shock leader that will have the Easy Rig slider on it. So all we're gonna do is again, grab our shock leader, and this time we're gonna do two meters worth. So again, for me, that's two full arm length. So there's one full arm length and another full arm length there. Okay, so we'll cut that. Okay, and what you're gonna do is Get your easy rig slider and slide that onto the line like that. And now I also like to follow that with one Lumo bead. Now what this is gonna do, this is gonna help protect that knot that's attached to the barrel swivel. So just feed that through, okay? And then at this point, what we can do is, we can now tie this up to our fluorocarbon leader that we've already created. So again, we're just gonna do a uni knot to attach this. So we're gonna feed this shock leader through. Okay, create a V, create a circle. Again, we're gonna thread that through the circle seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay, again, just lubricate, hold that edge down, and just pull it all the way down. Okay, and that's a perfect knot there, is trim that tag away. Cool, so as you can see now, we have our fluorocarbon leader on this side, and we've got our shock leader on this side, and then you've got that bead there, which will protect the knot, and that easy rig slider. Okay, so all that we need to do is grab our thin diameter, uh, fluoro, so this is only 20 pound. I'm gonna cut a length that's about 30 centimeters long. Okay, so 30 centimeters, you know, we're talking roughly about that. Okay, so cut that. Okay, now what we're gonna do before we cut this is we're gonna grab this Easy Rig slider, okay, and we're actually gonna take this metal clip off. So to do that, you just open that up, okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this all the way through, okay. Like that's a little bit fiddly to get it off. Okay, so there it is there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna tie this length of 30 centimeter fluorocarbon into this part of the Easy Rig, okay? Now the logic behind doing this is if you do land a good sized fish and you're fishing an area with structure or high current and that sinker gets stuck, is that this lesser line can basically break away your sinker breaks away, but what you don't do is compromise losing the fish. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a little uni knot there again. Um, doesn't need to be as strong. You can just do a couple of reps here. Okay, so we're just gonna do two reps there. One, two. Okay, tighten that. Okay, that's not going anywhere. And then what you wanna do is grab the other side of this clip, and we're gonna do the uni knot onto this clip, okay? So again, we're gonna just do that there, okay? Again, only need a couple of wraps here, so wrap that through twice, okay? Tighten that, okay, we're gonna cut these tags away, so cut away that first tag, okay? Cut away the tag that's remaining on the Easy Rig. So this Easy Rig slider now has this length of line, and on there, we're gonna put one of our bomb sinkers. So if I just grab this sinker here, which I think is three ounce, and basically all we're gonna do is thread that on, okay? Clip that into place, and this sinker now can move up and down that line freely. And as I said before, that can break away if it gets stuck for any particular reason. And to finish this shock leader, all that I do is I grab a, another Lumo bead, which I'm gonna put on the end, and we're gonna slide that all the way down, okay, to just above the other side of the shock leader. 
the logic there is is for whatever reason if you wind your line in too far that part will hit the rod tip and not that plastic easy rig which is going to be a little bit lighter and easier on your fishing gear so you don't damage it so all we do to finish this off is grab your fishing rod so i'm going to grab my rod here okay so this is my gummy shark outfit this is a 30 to 50 pound rod i've got an 8000 saragosa sitting on the end of that and I've got 50 pound braid in that multicolor line spooled on this reel. So to finish that off, all we're gonna do is a double uni knot to join this shock leader and the main line. So basically all you're doing is that uni knot twice, okay? So what we're gonna do again is have those lines running nice and straight along each other, okay? And then what we're gonna do is create a circle, wrap that around seven times, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, again, lubricate that knot, tighten that, okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side, so this time we're gonna have the braid to a circle and wrap around that shock leader seven times, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, again, just lubricate and tighten, okay? As you grab the braid and you grab the shock leader and you basically pull, and that's gonna lock themselves into place and that's all gonna cinch up really, really nicely. Now you may need to grab these access tags and just give them a bit of a pull just to lock that into place just a little bit more. And what you're left with is a really nice strong knot there. Now really test the breaking strain on it at this point. You'd rather break it now than have it break when you've got a fish on the end of it. And you can see that's super strong. That is going nowhere. So grab your scissors, cut the tags on both of those, okay? Okay, and we're gonna cut the tag on that braid. Okay. Again, just give it one last test, make sure that's nice and strong. And there you go, there is our rig done. We've got our braid main line and our shock leader, which are joined by double uni knot, and that's super strong. So we've got two meters of this shock leader. And at the end of this shock leader, we have this easy rig slider. We've got two limo beads, one on each side, one to protect the rod tip and one also to protect that knot from scuffing up. We have 30 centimeters of leader attached to the clip of the easy rig, which has been detached. And we have a bomb sinker there, which you can change the weight of really easily. Holding it together is a 100 pound breaking strain barrel swivel, and then we've got one meter of 80 pound fluorocarbon leader, which is finished with that Lumo sleeve and size eight in line Gamagatsu hook. And that is a absolutely killer gummy shark rig. Now, I did promise you three power tips at the start. So power tip number one is to do a little bit of research on the fluorocarbon leaders and shock leaders that you use. The main thing that I look at is the diameter, which basically is the thickness of the line. Now what I find is when you start working with lines that are 60 pound and higher, that line can get pretty tough to work with. And what I found is some brands, the diameter is significantly thinner. So to give you an example, an 80 pound version of Black Magic Tough versus an 80 pound equivalent of the Sunline one, this one is 0.8 and this one is 0.7 in diameter. So that's quite a bit of difference. So again, sometimes it pays just to spend a tiny bit more and find line that's got a thinner diameter because you're gonna find that's gonna be a lot easier to work with. Now power tip number two is all about convenience. Now what I like to do is I like to have these rigs all pre-rigged. I can basically grab the rod and it's all ready to go as soon as you hit the water. Now to do that, what I do is I unattach this clip and 
basically just have the sink up which I can attach when I'm on the water. And then what I do is I grab one of these hook easies, okay? And I basically just have the hook, okay, in one of those, okay? That's now clipped and safe away. And then what I do is I grab an elastic band, okay? I thread that through the bottom of one of these hook easies, okay? And then I tie that on to the bottom of the rod. So if I grab my fishing rod here, And this just gives you pure convenience that you can have these rods at home rigged and ready. And then way when you hit the water, all that you need to do is to unclip this hook easy, take the elastic band away, attach a sinker, and it takes literally 30 seconds before you're ready to put a bait in the water. And finally to finish with power tip number three, and that's just to make sure that you've got the right gear. And I can tell you from experience and making many mistakes, that it is very important when you're targeting big gummy sharks to have the right gear. And that should be something that's around that 30 to 50 pound or a 15 to 40 pound rod, something like a 6,000 through to an 8,000 size reel, 40 pound, 50 pound braid, and with a rig like this, purpose made to target gummy sharks and you'll catch a lot more than what you'll lose. Anyway guys, I hope that you found this tip helpful. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, good fishing everyone.